Uh, definitely I see a promising uh, future. It has a very positive connotation um, in Hungary, which is based on connectivity. Hungary has a very special geographical location. We are in the heart of uh, uh, Europe, on the trade routes between the um, east and uh, uh, west. A Belt and Road Initiative is uh, it's, it's crucial for us. One of the uh, biggest infrastructure projects, the, the Budapest-Belgrade uh, railway, is also part of the Belt and Road Initiative. But we are very open to, to, to work together and to figure out the new boost for Belt and Road Initiative. Not only talking about infrastructure, but also talking about different fields of cooperation. Unique um, uh, program. We Hungarians, we really try to take uh, seriously creating trade routes and connection points between East and West. Avoid the uh, uh, geopolitical uh, tensions and war. Create win-win scenarios in, uh, um, in economy. I see many world leaders who are uh, here. They are all dedicated um, to, to push further the idea of connectivity and find uh, ways of um, new ways of um, uh, cooperation. This kind of re-establishment of, uh, of regular discussions after the COVID period of time is very necessary. We Hungarians, we don't see China as a threat. We see it as an opportunity uh, for cooperation. Um, your country is performing um, uh, wonderful. It is dedicated towards uh, peace and peaceful economic cooperation. And I think Europe uh, would be fool uh, to say no to these uh, opportunities. This Chinese-European discussions shouldn't be based on ideology, but rather it should be based on uh, creating win-win scenario. There is a huge market uh, in, in East Asia. So if we start poisoning the relationship and start talking about decoupling or even de-risking, it's just uh, we're losing this window of opportunity. <laughs> Our interpretation is very, very simple. It's not a good concept. Everybody was talking about decoupling, that then they realized that it's impossible. So then they changed the narrative into de-risking. But according to our understanding, it's, it means the same. It's uh, not necessary. Uh, instead of this, Europe should, uh, should follow a strategy where, where uh, more connection is uh, be done. For the Hungarians, and there's something to learn from Chinese, because China is far away. It's a completely different cultural environment. If you are able to overtake this, difficult beginning period of time, then the cooperation will be uh, much more smoother because the mutual understanding is uh, it's, it's growing. So this would be my, uh, my advice to, to all the partners. Don't neglect the importance of, uh, of learning about each other's. We are living in extremely turbulent uh, times. It's emerging. Uh, mass migration uh, waves, economic uh, slowdown, energy shortages. And these kind of global challenges cannot be solved by only by Europeans or even only by Chinese or only by the Americans. The green transition, um, um, energy industry, automobile industry and especially the electrification industry could be a very good new uh, area where where we should strengthen the cooperation. I hope that the openness will be there on the um, European side. Hungary as a country is very open to, to boost cooperation on this field.